To the untrained eye, you might think I was standing next to a 55 Chevy station wagon with a top cut off and a bunch of wood nailed on it. Actually, this is the basis for some of those beautiful floats that you see every year in the Cotton Bowl Parade in Dallas. Floats like this one. The 1971 edition of the Cotton Bowl Parade in Dallas will be televised nationally. Everyone will see it from New York to California. The floats themselves are fascinating the way they're put together. This is one of the 20 floats which is appearing, and it's being put together by the Mid-Continent Exhibition President, Tom McNamara. Tom, what does a float like this cost? Well, these floats will run from six to $10,000. What kind of time are you talking about in order to put something like this together? We're talking 350 to 450 man hours. Now, are you going to have this float put together by the time for the parade, January 1st? Yes, we'll have it finished tomorrow night, 5 o'clock. That's fantastic. This particular float we're looking at here is a little bit unusual. Uh, what, what in particular, it, well, for one thing, it looks like it's made out of a bunch of cans. Yes, true. Uh, everything that you see on this float is all aluminum. Uh, it is designed to uh, tie in with the theme, the world of entertainment, as well as put the story across of recycling aluminum. You've got, uh, how many cans would you estimate are going into this thing? 3,000 cans, aluminum cans on this float. Fantastic. One of the 20 that you will see, 20 or so, I should say, that will be in the 1971 edition of the Cotton Bowl Parade in Dallas. Malcolm Landis, the State Fairgrounds for Channel 8 News on the Move.